Hi, I'm Doug Koenig, professional shooter, and I use goal setting to prep myself for shooting tournaments, championships, and in my practice. You know, in the big picture, I use my goal setting for like Bianchi as an example. There's a certain score that I'm trying to achieve because it's a set course of fire. For steel challenge, there might be a target time that I'm trying to achieve. So I set that in place. I try to stay away from, hey, I want to win, hey, I want to finish top five, because all that to me is kind of irrelevant. It all comes down to my preparation for the tournament. Then I translate that into my practice sessions. I have goals for every single practice session. You know, if I'm getting ready for the Bianchi Cup, my goal that day might be to get real familiar with the 10-yard line and the transfer to the weak hand for the practical on the barricade where we're changing hands. And that's, that's my goal of the day is when I get out of there that I'm good on the 10-yard line. And the next day it might be shooting 25 yards on the mover. But I go to every practice session with a goal, and my goal is high. I set the bar real high because what I tell my football players is if the, bar, if the bar's here and you finish here, that's pretty darn good. If you set the bar here and you finish here, it's not quite so good. So set your goals high, keep them realistic, okay, and don't always attach a finish because the way I look at shooting is I can't control the guy next to me. I can only control myself and what I'm doing in the match. And that all translates to how I practice and prepare for the tournament at home, dry firing, and at the range. If you're looking for a place to shoot, go to NSSF's website, wheretoshoot.org. And always remember, firearm safety begins with you.